Welcome to another exciting video. I am Mr. Sabla. In today's video, we are going to discuss about 10 most poorest countries in Africa. Kindly subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Also, turn on post notifications so that you get alerts whenever I post new content. Thank you. And also, please, this list is based on GNI, Gross National Income, and Gross Domestic Product, GDP, per capita. And my observation. This list is in descending order, starting from number 10. Starting number 10 on my list is Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone has been suffered by many civil war and the Ebola pandemic. Not only that, but also some natural disasters. About two thirds of the population in Sierra Leone engage in farming, mostly on rice. However, Sierra Leone is one of the few poorest countries in Africa that has higher GNI and GDP than capital GDP. Gross domestic product is about $1,608 and the GNI is about $1,670. Number 9 on my list is South Sudan, rate GDP of $1,420 and GNI rate $1,090. The economy of the Republic of South Sudan is one of the most undeveloped in the world. And this country has one of the most highest literacy rates, also has one of the youngest population in the world, with over 40% of their population are below 40 years. And it has a range of natural mineral resources, including oil, gas, iron, copper, gold, silver, and diamonds. The average per capita income in South Sudan is around three or four dollars a day. But 90% of the population lives below one dollar a day. Eighth country on my list is Liberia with GDP of $1,413 and GNI 530 US dollars. Liberia was founded in the 1820s as a refuge for former American slaves. It has come out of a horrific civil war under a human lead government that rebuilt schools, hospitals, and roads that had been destroyed during the fight. But an Ebola pandemic in 2014 and the, the completion of international aid programs in 2017 have left the country to face its considerable economic challenge of its own. That's for And the seventh country on my list is this having GDP of 1331 US dollars and GNI of 460 dollars. There is some income in this with of 871 dollars between GDP and GNI shows that it does not go to Mozambicans. Mozambique has invited to shop to from the African nations to fight its Islamic insurgency. So it can concentrate on the problem from the government of the Indian farm intended to solve a bit fragile economy. The sixth poorest country on my list is Malawi, having GDP of $1,223 and GNI $500. Over 70% of Malarians earn less than the UN poverty level wage of US have jobs of US $1.90 per day. Compounding its reality is another. Most of Malawi's workers have jobs in agriculture. Malawi faces floods and other natural disasters. The World Bank estimates that a tiny 0.8 acre Malawi farm produces only 11 to 18 percent of its potential yard. Making matters worse, Malawi's one magnificent lake, Chiwa, has largely dried up, putting 8,000 fishermen out of work. That's for Malawi. Moving on to number five on my list is Niger, having a GDP of 1,213 and GNI of 540 US dollars. In 2021, Niger experienced its first peaceful transfer of power with the inauguration of its president, Mohamed Bazoum. The newly stable country, unfortunately, is trapped between aims of the Islamic State and the Boko Haram. United Nations Development Index ranks Niger as the poorest country on earth. 
simultaneously experiencing an explosion in its birth rate and a clinical drought that leaves over 2 million of its citizens in danger of starvation. Even in a good year, the United Nations says Niger cannot be itself. Fourth country on my list is Somalia, also with a GDP of 888 and GNI of 310 US dollars. Somalia has become a synonym of violence, lawless, and extremely poverty. About 43% of its population lives on less than $1 per day. And the leading industry of the country is livestock production. In, in recent years, however, condition has stabilized enough that foreign companies are investing in Somalia as a producer of meat for consumption in nearby countries, bringing living standards back to where they were in the early 90s. The third country on Malis is Democratic Republic of Congo, having GDP of 843 and GNI of 550 US dollars, mining for the rare earth essential for making electric cars and cell phones is the Democratic Republic of Congo's greatest potential and its biggest quarry. This huge equatorial rainforest country has been the world's leading supplier of cobalt since 1908. It provided the highest grade uranium oil and the United States used to make its atomic bombs in the World War II. Although America's capital kept mines going in the 20s, the country has recently sold its mineral to Chinese conglomerates. For ordinary Congolese, there are a few civil rights, no employment rights, and little choice but to, to take very basic jobs. The economic production of the country is mostly controlled by the mines. Second country on my list is Central African Republic with GDP of 823 and GNI of 510 US dollars. The Central African Republic has endured decades of religious violence and civil war. For much of the last 50 years, the Central government has controlled only and in 2013, the capital was taken by the people. Some Africans have been driven out of their homes into refugee camps. Since 2016, UN is keeping crops up, but some stability into two and a lot of money has invested in small business development, but loneliness, disease, and lack of infrastructure before the Lastly, the first poorest country in Africa is Burundi, with a GDP of 727 and GNI 210. The lack of legal protection for investment has discouraged business from coming to Burundi to make profit, with its willing workforce. The large disparity between GDP and GNI suggests that non citizens, many of them with Relief organizations make up much of its workforce. More videos soon. You know what? Just subscribe, click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future updates. Thank you.